Tonight, I'm going to show you everything you need to make Halloween candy pie. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Well, Halloween has passed, so now the question is what to do with that leftover Halloween candy. Assuming, of course, that you actually have any leftover Halloween candy. But let's assume that you do, and you want to do something creative with it. Well, I'm here to help. It's a super simple recipe that your kids could probably even do without supervision, at least until you get to the baking part. Yeah, there's a baking part, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Halloween candy pie, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I'm using a graham cracker crust, some sugar cookie dough, some leftover Halloween candy, and some mini M&Ms that I had in the pantry. I'm also using a small baking pan. Okay, let's make some candy. Set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut the Halloween candy into bite-sized pieces. I went with chocolate candies, but if you decide you want to go a little extreme, feel free to use Skittles or Jolly Ranchers or whatever you'd like. Spread the sugar cookie dough evenly across the bottom of the graham cracker crust. Press the candy pieces into the sugar cookie dough. Put the pie in the oven and bake it. Mine took 40 minutes, yours could be anywhere from 35 to 50 minutes. Remove it when the cookie dough starts to brown and lose its sheen. Leave it on the counter until it's completely cool. Then cut it into whatever size pieces you'd like. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Ooh, hang on a second. Okay, warm should be even better. Slanchava. Oh my goodness. This is everything you could ask for. It's sweet and gooey and chocolatey and it's crunchy and chewy and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. If you'd like to do something a little different with your Halloween candy or any other candy, you really ought to try this. But let's assume that you do and you want to do something cookie. But if you decide you want to go a little extreme,